Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. How about it? Highs today in the 50s. 72 days ago, we had uh, temperatures above 50 degrees. We have some high level clouds passing on through, but plenty of sunshine right now breaking through in Harrisburg, currently at 53 degrees with a light breeze out of the northwest. Feels fantastic. We have waited oh so long to feel this type of weather around. Out there on Super Doppler 8, all is quiet, and you can see out there much of the area is experiencing mostly clear skies, a little bit of some high level clouds moving in from Chambersburg, Gettysburg, and over Harrisburg. The clouds will thicken up as we head through the overnight, and that is because of this storm system off down to our south. Right now, moving Moving across the Gulf Coast, it will start to move inland over the mid Mississippi River Valley and start to throw some rain our way as we head into early tomorrow morning and become widespread as we head on into the afternoon hours. So here's your News 8 Storm Team forecast. Middle town in the background, increasing clouds, temperatures falling from the upper 40s down into the upper 30s. And then overnight tonight will drop to near 30 degrees. There may be a few isolated sprinkles as we get closer to dawn as temperatures will be rising above freezing and then rain will be increasing from south to North, mainly during the late morning hours, then be widespread. Still light in intensity during the afternoon, but thanks to the clouds and rain moving across much of the area, highs today or tomorrow rather will be a little cooler. We do have an air quality alert in effect for the majority of the Susquehanna Valley for Tuesday. That's because we're warmer out there. The winds will be light tonight, so the concentration of particulates will be higher in the air. So that's uh, you have sensitive uh, folks out there, the elderly children or people who have asthma or heart or lung issues, be advised that air quality is going to be low for tomorrow. Right now, it's 53 degrees in Harrisburg, currently 54 if you're watching us in York, and 57 at this hour in Chambersburg, almost near 70 degrees in Richmond, Virginia. There is a stalled frontal boundary off to our south. It's going to be the focal point for where we'll start to see some rain start to move over that as we head into tomorrow. But the track of this storm system is going to move right across the mid-Mississippi River Valley, and you can see the northern edge of that rain starting to move up over central portions of Tennessee. So slowly but surely, that rain is going to start to creep up from the north. So high pressure sitting overhead this evening, keeping the skies mainly clear, but it's going to quickly move off to the east. We have that called a return flow. Winds will start to shift out of the southeast, and by the time we head into early tomorrow morning, notice the cloud cover is going to be fairly thick. Again, not ruling out a few isolated sprinkles near dawn. Then we'll have widespread showers out there heading into Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening. Then the rain will start to taper off as we head into early on Wednesday morning. I do expect, though, by Wednesday afternoon, the sky Skies begin to clear out, and we'll have another day on Wednesday back in the 50s. Enjoy it. So, 40s tomorrow with some passing rain. The rain will move out late Tuesday night. And then, as we head into Wednesday, warmer, mixture of sunshine and clouds with highs in the mid 50s. I'm keeping an eye on this storm system right now for the weekend. Right now, it does look like there could be a brief period on Friday that we start as a mix, but as of right now, it does look like the majority of that does look like it's going to fall as rain, and that will continue on into Saturday. If you're looking for spring, Check out this kid's art. Thank you very much, Caleb, for sending in this from York, seven years old. Nice picture there of some sunshine and just a few passing clouds and finally starting to see some leaves on some trees. So 